I feel like for some of you in the past, um, I feel like you might have compromised too much, okay? And you know, all relationships, all interpersonal relationships require a lot of compromise. It's give and take. It's putting ourselves in the other person's shoes to understand where they're coming from. But when one person is doing all the compromising, it's a very unfair situation. So I feel like in the past, a lot of you compromised, gave up a lot of yourself in order to accommodate another person. And I feel like this can be in work specifically, where <clears throat> you might have done that. And it could also be in relationships as well, where you give and give and give a lot of yourself, okay? And this is going uh, to be mutual as well, but I feel like the energy, I'm reading it from your point of view. So I feel like you were the one that's bending over backwards to accommodate the situation. And I feel like there's something here about uh, conflict avoidant. There's something here about not wanting to get our hands dirty so that means you know airing out dirty laundry you don't want to do that so you might simply uh, appease the other person to make the conflict go away and I feel like over time it does um, take away from your own sense of um, you know exercising your free will it does take away from your own sense of like standing up for the things that you truly believe in when we don't confront situations head-on and when we try to sweep things under the rug hoping that they will go away they always inevitably come back and especially during mercury and retrogrades old problems always creep up so that we can deal with them and lay them to rest resolve them and move forward okay so I feel like some past energies is resurfacing not so much as a person but as like um, uh, the, the, the problematic ways in which we have dealt with a situation in the past concerning another person where we might have not um, we might not have like stood up for the things that we wanted we value or we might have like over um, um, over like compromised just to appease the other person and I feel like right now you have come to the conclusion that you know I need to be a little bit more firm when it comes to the things that I value the things that I want I need to be a little bit more directed and not um, uh, you know invest my energy in people that don't reciprocate to the same extent that I do so I definitely see some reassessment when it comes to how you conduct yourself in relationships okay you're showing up here as the Queen of Swords, and the Queen of Swords is somebody who is very, very balanced. Um, she is, this is male or female, but I'm, I'm reading this card specifically as the energy that, that comes from it. As somebody who does have a lot of love to give, she has been through a lot in her relationships, and she is wise and smart, and, you know, she's kind of like... Um, a little bit on guard but I feel like that's okay because you're gonna need to be on on top of the game you're gonna need to be a lot more discerning than you have been in the past in order to deal with whatever is um, presenting itself to you at the present moment okay what I do feel is for a lot of you there is um, a, a water sign a Pisces Cancer Scorpio Sun Moon or rising in your midst okay and I feel like this is somebody that does want a relationship in the past they might have been like um, just very wrapped up with their own life, their own financial situation, their own, you know, inner turmoil and their own circumstances. And I feel like you gave a lot to this person. You were always there, you know, like providing, um, providing like a, a, a shoulder to lean on, giving advice, giving very good counsel and, you know, fixing them up when they were broken. I feel that. And I feel like this is the month in which they are starting to realize the value and the the um, the help that you provided them in the past. And if they have taken it, um, if they have taken you for granted, I don't feel like they're taking advantage of you. I feel like they come with a lot of love, but they were going through a phase in their lives where they were trying to get their financial situation sorted out. They were trying to like, um, um, they were trying to. I feel like just you know maintain themselves just get through life and I feel like they might not have shown you the appreciation that was owed to you and I feel like this is the month in which they are coming through and there's kind of like that peace offering you know and um, 
where they, they, they tell you what you mean to them and they tell you these things that you have been wanting to hear for quite some time. So I feel like this outpouring of love coming through from a, uh, a water sign, okay? Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Um, for some of you, this situation um, might have come a little bit too belatedly. So what I mean is um, you might have dealt with this for quite some time. And I feel like whatever peace offering, whatever gesture that they're giving you, it might have been like a little bit too late and you have already moved on. Okay. So I do sense that. And I feel like this heavy energy between a water sign and a fire sign. So for others of you, you might have like transitioned from a water sign and now you're emerging in a new relationship with possibly a fire sign, a Sagittarius, an Aries, or a Leo, sun, moon, or rising. Um, and vice versa, you might be in a relationship with a fire sign who is a little bit noncommittal, who is a little bit more like uh, looking for more fun and excitement rather than stability. So I feel like um, you might transition from them to a water sign. So I feel this transition happening for you. So a major decision uh, shift in a relationship is coming through. If it hasn't already, I definitely feel like um, if you've made a choice but you weren't sure yet, I definitely feel like within the next two weeks, you're going to be pretty sure about the choices that you've made and whether or not you need to make adjustments, okay? And um, I feel like making adjustments is fine as long as we are sure that that's something that we want. And I feel like by the end of this month, you're going to be certain about a choice that you've made as it pertains to relationship partners and as it pertains to like um, who you want to keep in your life and who is no longer welcomed is what I'm feeling. So the other thing that I'm sensing here is, um, I almost feel like, I almost feel like if you have recently ended a relationship, you know, like you have decided to separate, um, if you were married, you are, uh, and you might have gone through a very, very recent separation and you're not really sure about whether or not to proceed with the divorce, I feel that you're going to go ahead with the divorce this month, okay? And um, I say that mainly because I feel like you or the the significant person, in the, the person that you're married to um, might be in love with somebody else. So I feel like you might have somebody else that you are very much enamored with and they likewise have been trying to get you back but I feel like they're going in a different direction altogether so if you're dealing with a separation I feel like it's going to come to a an end and that means you know you might sit down and discuss a divorce for example for others of you I feel like you know that the divorce is imminent and um, I feel like you're still very 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 um physically attracted to another person um you feel almost like you know you both are like it's really confusing because we do have the lover's card as well as the two of cups and on top of that is the seven of swords so i feel like there might have been some infidelity in the past you know and that's why you're re currently separated so you are the other person it, it can be both people there was some indiscretion. There was an infidelity in the past. You both have separated. You both are like, you really love the other person. And I feel like they really love you too. So it was like a minor, um, I, I don't want to say minor because, you know, infidelity is never, ever a minor thing. And it's not just like a lapse of judgment, you know, it, it's a, it takes like a lot to get to that point. So I feel like, if you are separated because of infidelity and you are deciding whether or not to go through with a, a divorce, I feel like there is temptation here to go back and have like a, you know, like a, a physical, a sexual relationship with that person. And what I'm sensing is that the temptation is definitely there. And even if the third party is not in the picture, there's always going to be that temptation. So if you can justify to yourself, you know, I want to do this because I really feel connected to the other person and, you know, things like that. I feel like that's up to you, but I, I just want you to know that the temptation is not exclusively with this one person. The temptation is always going to be there. So whether or not this relationship is going to last into the future, 
that's um, to be determined. Um, the probability is very low. It can be enhanced if you both go see counseling or go get uh, counseling or, you know, see a, a marriage counselor or a therapist to try to make things work. That will definitely increase the likelihood that it can work out in the future. But, you know, I, I don't normally advise people to go back to exes, mainly because I do feel that, you know, whatever lessons that needed to be learned from that relationship, it has been cultivated, it has been learned. And I feel like you're still dealing with a little bit of a conflict um, within yourself as to what you need to do, because I feel like there's still a lot of love here, okay? And specifically, if you have been divorced or separated specifically from a water sign, I feel like this person, so Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, they want to come back in. There is a peace offering. They want to make amends, but I feel like you have uh, moved on. You have tried to move on. In the past, this might have worked, but I feel like for this month, um, you're kind of turning your back is what I'm saying. seeing. Like you're turning your back and you're just like, no, I don't want to get hurt again. And um, I feel like a lot of it has to do with your own pride, but at the heart of it, you know that this is not, you know, you know that the time is, is over. You know that that relationship has run its course. And you know that uh, you need to protect yourself above all, all else, okay? So I'm getting like heavy energies of like um, past relationships in all forms, in all shapes coming back in t for re-examination. And I feel like it's not just something pervasive for the next two weeks. I feel like this has been an ongoing issue you know, possibly for the past two months that you've been grappling with. So since we are in September, so like since July, I feel like you've been going back and forth in your mind uh, with this situation. And a lot of you, you might have children with another person. So you're kind of like going back and forth. Should I or shouldn't I? Um, should I keep this marriage? Um, should I, you know, like go through with the divorce or should I rekindle and reconnect because of the children? And, you know, the children are fine. This is a decision that you have to somehow take the children out of, mainly because I feel like this is the karma between you and the significant other that you might want to work through or that you might need to come to terms with. And I feel like no matter what, for the next two weeks, you're going to um, you're going to make a choice, and you're going to be very, very firm and sure, like certain, with that choice, so that you're not going to be, you know, straddling between the old and the new, and uh, constantly second guessing yourself whether or not you've made the right decision. So I definitely feel some clarity coming through for you as to what you need to do. And I feel like more than anything, a lot of you know what you need to do. A lot of you are simply uh, done and you're ready to move on, you know, but I feel like a lot of a part of you mainly, you know, is, is like tied up with the children and a, a big part of you is tied up with the fact that you have a long history together and um, you are you want to to forgive and you want to give it another try. And um, I feel like the outpouring of love and the peace offering from the other person is very sincere. And you are aware that it is very sincere. So you want to give it another try. But I feel that no matter whatever decision you make right now, by the end of the month, for the next two weeks, by the end of this month, um, I feel like you will have a lot more clarity and you will feel a lot more sure about what you need to do. Um, so I know like that's kind of open-ended, but I feel like for some of you, you're going to, um, if you feel like I need to give this another go just because, you know, out of respect for the other person, out of respect for everything that we shared, everything that we've been through together, um, I feel especially if there has been some past indiscretion involved, like cheating, somebody stepping out of the relationship and, um, I definitely feel if it's with a water sign, they are sincere, okay? If it's with a fire sign, I feel like it's the same old, same old. So I, I do sense that coming through where, you know, one person is like putting in a lot of the work and the other person is, is kind of inconsistent. Um, I do feel there's a lot of passion. There's a lot of chemistry, but it's not enough for longevity. So I feel like you are deciding between a fire sign and a water sign heavily and you're you know still grappling with this 
dilemma about, you know, how can I be sure if the last relationship didn't work out, how can I be sure that I need to invest in this person, in this person solely? So there's a lot here about, you know, not wanting to put your eggs in one basket because you're afraid of getting hurt. There's also this element here about, you know, I, I feel like the time, the clock is ticking. So especially for you women out there, I feel like you're, you're wanting to settle down, have a relationship and have something solid so that you can, you know, um, uh, start a family. So I, I feel that. Or you might feel like your children are grown up and you might want to like, um, uh, you, you might feel like you want to settle and you might feel like, you, like settle down. I don't mean to settle for less or, but I mean like settle down so that your children have a little bit more stability in their lives. Okay. So you might be like, okay, this is a really good person. I really like him or her because they're a good mother or father, etc. But you want to, I, I feel like you, you both see eye to eye, but there might be chemistry that is lacking. So if you're dealing with a brand new person and you have children, I feel like you might feel like somebody is a really good, you know, mother or father, and you want them to be in your children's lives. But I feel like the chemistry is a little bit absent in the relationship. So you, you have to take the children out of the equation and you have to really think about what's good for you, okay? And I don't mean in a way where it's like finding, you know, a deadbeat and having them around your children. I am not suggesting that at all. What I mean is you want to be smart about the decision. And one of the things that a lot of the times um, we can't make a, a very, you know, clear and um, conscious decision is like we make things a lot more complicated than it needs to be, okay? So if the relationship is between you and another person, you want to keep everything out of it and uh, make that decision exclusively between you and the other person. Take out the money, take out the jobs, take out the family situation, take out, you know, whatever external influences that's influence that's affecting your ability to make this decision about yourself and about the other person. So doing that first and then deciding what you want to do and then working the other elements around that, that's going to be the better way to go, okay? And I feel like this is what you might be grappling with. So if you kind of like uh, look at the, I guess, zoom in a little bit and look at the the core, the core, um, I guess, like purpose, like what is this decision? What, what does it entail? Who's actually immediately affected right now? So it's you and the other person. So try to make it from that, you know, um, that standpoint. Okay. So, um, finances, I feel it is a little bit stable for those. It's, it's stable. Excuse me. Um, for those of you who are like shifting jobs, careers, and things like that, I do feel there are some, um, favorable things coming your way when it comes to jobs. I, I do feel interviews, but I don't feel like you're going to solidify jobs until like the uh, November timeframe is what I'm sensing. So, and I feel like the later part of November when we are verging on the time of Sagittarius. Okay. So I do sense that coming through. So, um, overall it is going to be a very, very decisive next two weeks, uh, Libra. So, you know, try to, Keep yourself level-headed, okay? Make this decision, all right? I do wish you all the best, and happy birthday to you all. Uh, take care of yourself, and I'll be back in October. Bye-bye.